today and today we're going to have a game of Overlander on the Commodore Amiga right I have reviewed this on the Commodore 64 I didn't think much of it to be honest with you the Amstrad CPC version played better even though it was a spectrum port so 16-bit territory now so let's see how it plays on the Amiga right okay Right, after my experience on the Amstrad CPC version, right, we're not going to top the fuel up so much. Right, oh hang on, so you can choose this out of two missions here, so we can have the secret documents or the counterfeit money. So let's just go for the secret documents to start off with. Now we can um, adjust how much fuel we want. Like the other versions, if you put fuel in it, you can't take the fuel out. Say, so, oh, I'll put too much fuel in. No, you can't do that. Right, I think that might be enough fuel. So, cost money to put fuel in the, in the car, but whatever you don't use, you can upgrade your car. So, money, we got 2,500. So, right, obviously, more gonna, it's going to cost more. That I can't afford. I can afford, can't afford that. So, so I can afford bulletproofing, so that might be good, a battering ram, so bulletproofing might be good, so I'm left with 500, so let's put battering rams on it. Right, so let's leave city, and hopefully I've got enough fuel. So it's forward to accelerate, which I hate, because it's a computer version, so this is something we had to live with because of the single button thing. So uh, fire, obviously fire button to fire your weapons. Frame rate is really good. Oh, I suffered a little bit of slowdown there. So basically what this is, road blasters. Except for in this you can upgrade your car. Well, upgrade things to your car. Weapons and stuff. So, yeah, I mean, for what it is, I, I'm only assuming this must have been a budget title. But then again, I don't know. I didn't have this game back in the day. We've got some undulation going on there, looks. You know, it's, it's, it hasn't got much. You buy, oh, fuck, what it got me there? You know, it's use good use of colour. Just feels like something's lack. Oh, for fuck's sake, something's lacking. I don't know what it is. I don't know. What the fuck? Now, now I'm starting to wonder. Did I put enough petrol in the car? Because this fuel tank's well, the fuel's going down quite fast. Oh! Oh fucking hell! I've got a battering ram. Why can't I just go through them? Only works with cars, but it doesn't work with barriers. Okay, ah uh, oh, for fuck's sake, maybe I should put more petrol in the car then. Am I gonna make it? Oh come on! Hit a motorbike and the fucking car explodes. I must have used my bat I think you can only hit things at certain times, it ain't infinite. Mm, it's Well I'm pushing fire, why oh I've gotta wait. Maybe I should put more fuel in the car then. Right, get to enter my... Ah, oh, you get to type in your name. That's always a bonus. Right, okay, let's try. Try again. But this time we'll try counterfeit money. So this is the rewards 1200. Oh, no. That's up front, so... So get more money, do I? Maybe I should put more petrol in the car. Actually, I feel I do get more money, so I've still got three grand, so... 
Oh, that's I can't go down. That's it. So I can. Right, rockets. Um. Right, that's it. Oh, hang on. Can't afford that. Oh, I've, I've, I'm running out of money. Now, thing is, I don't know how to activate anything. I don't, can't find instructions anywhere. Oh, fucking hell. Out. Out to act. Why is that car going through me? Yeah, so. Ain't spacebar, because spacebar pauses the game. That would be a logical key to push, if anything, to activate your special weapons, because this game don't support two buttons. Oh, enter. No, not enter. Not shift. So I can't activate any weapons because space pauses. So I don't know the key and I can't find instructions. You'd think they'll make it fucking obvious so a button to push might be space bar. No, but that pauses. It's the same thing with the Commodore 64 version. I don't know what the button was to activate the special weapons because they don't provide instructions. Without, oh, it probably somewhere does, but these obvious sites where I get my ROMs from should provide some sort of what key, what the keys does. I don't really care about the instructions. You know what, what additional keys I might have to use. So, I'm not getting the full experience out of the game, but I don't know. I mean, it plays okay. Oh, fuck's sake. You know, the frame, the frame rate is pretty good. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, bollocks! Game over. We'll have one more go. To be honest with you, I got much further in the Amstrad CPC version. And it, the frame rate weren't brilliant, that version wasn't great, but it certainly was pretty playable. And I think it was more easier out this version and the Commodore 64 version. Right, let's have one more go. Let's go back to this one, it might be the easiest. Let's put more fuel in the car. Let's top it right up and let's... Oh, ignore that. Uh, battering ram. Right, one more go. Fuck's sake. I mean, it's pretty fast, so there is a sensation of speed there, apart from that fucking slowdown. What are those fucking guns? I mean, if I had a sprite of a Ferrari, Testarossa, then this could have been outrun. <laughs> we all know how crap that was on the Amiga. So outrun on the Amiga could have been done properly. Just looking at the, um, well, just look at Lotus. Just look at the Lotus games. Look at the, how smooth they were. I mean, this is really smooth and it's fast. So 
There was no excuse why OutRun couldn't have been really good on the Amiga. No, because it was a shitty Atari SPT port. Lazy. But I don't think I don't think this has been ported from the Atari ST. It looks really smooth. So it looks like it's been coded on the Amiga. But I don't know. I mean it's okay this game but I played better. Oh fuck's sake! Yeah, I've, I've pretty much had enough of that. It's all right, but it's just getting on my nerves a little bit. Um, obviously, practice is required, like with most games. But I don't know. I don't know. I mean, graphically, it looks all right. It's an elite game, so right. It came out in '89. Yeah, so. It's definitely an improvement over Outrun, let's put it that way, but it's alright. Probably might have played it quite a few times if I had it back in the day. I certainly would have played it over the Commodore 64 version, but I don't know, I thought the Amstrad version was easier to play. I've got at least I've got off the first level on that version. I don't know. I just don't know, I'm not really Feeling it, feeling it on this one. I do love my racing games and driving games, but I don't know. This one's, you know, it's it's playable, but it's a little bit tricky, I think. Um, it's it's all right. That's all I'm gonna say. It's all right. I played better on the Amiga, but there, you, there you go. That's just me. Anyway, I'm gonna end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.